it's your it's here in your third year already. David West, and then you got Killing the spree. third team. He is on the sixer. Uh, Double yeah, kill. The best team the best Triple team. kill. Deshaun kill light and scope. Gilbert, Manu, and uh, Serge Ibaka was a 91 overall. Cleveland, uh, they're the best team. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Holotide here, and today I have something special for you. We are going over how to get better at Splitgate. Now, if you didn't already know, Splitgate is a free-to-play game on Steam and Xbox and on PlayStation. And this game has been in production for a very long time. The first time I played it was back in 2019, and they have just recently released their cross-platform beta. It's super popular right now, and for good reason. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of great arena FPS games out, and this one is definitely scratching my itch as I wait for Halo Infinite. I could definitely see myself playing it a lot just for fun. But like anything in life, you wanna be better, and that's why you're here. Now obviously, if you're watching this video, you're not a pro, so I'm not really gonna give you pro tips. Instead, I'm gonna be going over basics that will help you improve your gameplay and your KD ratio and your awareness, pretty much. They're all simple things that if you apply them, you will definitely see an improvement to your game. Tip number one, just click heads. Just kidding. My first tip would be to honestly ignore using your portals in the beginning. Your first few games will definitely be against people that are new as well. And what you should be doing is learning the map, learning your guns, learning how everything flows, and working on denying other people's portals. You do that by using your grenade, and this grenade does not do any damage to actual players. It's more like an EMP, and it basically closes their portals. My second tip would be to always be ready to go to the power weapon spawns, just like in Halo. There's sniper rifles, rail guns, rocket launchers, shotguns, and the shotgun in this game is gnarly. And this will give you a huge advantage against the other team because while your AR is a really good gun in its own right, power weapons are obviously going to be better. My next tip will be to actually use the mini-map. In this game, it's a pretty good mini-map, honestly, because there's been a lot of games where it's super hard to understand what the mini-map is trying to tell you, how close people are, but split gates is pretty true. An arrow above the red dot means that the enemy is above you, and an arrow below means that they're below you. And obviously, if there's no arrow, they're on the same level as you. Once you've started getting used to the maps and the flow of the game and using your weapons, then I would start to say, start using portals. It can seem like a very daunting task when you first start playing to put all these things together and then add on portals. But honestly, most players aren't checking for them or using them regardless. So you can really get the flank on people. You can hit people from the side. You can hide behind one portal and put another one super high up and just see the entire map and pick people off. The portals aren't really overpowered, but in the right hands, they can add a huge element of skill ceiling that if you take advantage of, you will absolutely poop on people. One thing to also note is that you can easily flank your enemies with the portals. You can see through them, but the enemies can't. So you can put a portal behind them, look right through it, and pick them off easily. Once you start using your portals, you're gonna wanna close them after you've gone through. This will keep the enemy from chasing you and will always cut them off. My last tip is to honestly use the AR because it's stupid good and you'll pretty much poop on people if uh, they're not using it. It has great range, great stability, everything that you want in a weapon. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.